Ever wonder how important the center distance is between the shafts you mate your gears on? This is the kit that can show you what matters. <laughs> measure backlash. One gear doesn't have backlash. Two gears have backlash. And it's measured by immobilizing one and see how much movement there is in the other. Do you hear this? A little bit of backlash. These two pins or shafts are an extra 39 thousandths apart this way and there's a lot of backlash and here they are 78 thousandths apart and there's nearly 70 thousandths of backlash and if your post or shafts are too close the gears just won't even fit so there's no backlash and this is where they're supposed to run and those run very smoothly even when I move them back and forth there's barely a sound of them talking to each other these also run they work but make no doubt about it there is quite a bit of backlash here we'll get a close-up here in just a second and way out here at a huge center distance. They work, but they won't work for long. Let's zoom in so we can see it, how it's supposed to be by design, the correct center distance. Let's zoom in here and see if we can get a look at that. Those run very smooth. There's no lubrication, by the way. And the measurement is made like this by using the feeler gauge. This one says five thousandths. And I immobilize one gear. And this gauge is kind of a decent size, so it's a little hard to get in there, but uh, you can tell we're in there and there's your backlash properly designed gear has just a few thousandths of backlash this is actually kind of big for a backlash number I think we could uh, maybe make those gears slightly better but that's well within tolerance and those will run great And the pitch line on this gear is, you know, it's a it's a it's a line, but uh, you can tell I'm generally drawing it in the area where you'd expect them to be, and they're just really far apart. And you can tell just when I'm accelerating it to spin it, you can hear them kind of clanking. These will tear each other up. Those these wouldn't work. A receiving party would probably reject these gears and let's bring those back around together and you can see the tips of these teeth are very far apart and the backlash is enormous these will tear each other up they spin okay they actually are starting to kind of rattle together they'll end up vibrating and tearing each other up this is another setup I've used to measure the backlash between two gears. Make sure it's all set up very rigidly, but you can see where I've got the tip of the indicator there. You'll immobilize the gear on the left, the pinion, and then that you'll move that 28 tooth gear. And I'm just double checking what I got with the feeler gauge. So I got it all tuned in pretty close here, uh, just uh, to give us an idea. And that's about that five or six thousandths I got with the feeler gauge. There you go. Hope you learned something. Thanks.